MacBook Pro 2017 Release Date, News and Rumors Apple released its massively updated, new MacBook Pro in October 2016 to an awfully mixed crowd of press and general public alike. The device's new touch bar wowed, whereas its price for the parts inside certainly did not. Just four months since that tumultuous release, reports and rumors of what Apple's MacBook Pro 2017 follow-up will be like have surfaced, and all signs point to better parts for the price. However, there is also so much that we don't know, so check back on this space every once in a while, as we'll be updating it with the latest regarding the would-be 2017 MacBook Pro. MacBook Pro 2017 Release Date Sadly, this is one of the facets to the new MacBook Pro story that we know very little about. The closest thing to an idea is a report from famed Apple analyst Ming-Chi Kuo that the next MacBook Pro models will go into production in Q3 2017, so around July. That would logically place the new MacBook Pro in an October 2017 release window, which would make a whole lot of sense considering when the updated MacBook Pro released in 2016. Hint, it was in October. However, Apple has debuted new MacBooks in the past during the months of March and April as well as during its Worldwide Developers Conference, WWDC, in early June. Without an alluring email invitation from Apple, anything is possible. MacBook Pro 2017 Price Considering the backlash to the price hike we saw coming from the generation of MacBook Pros into the current one, we wouldn't expect to see major changes in MacBook Pro pricing. Of course, we wouldn't anticipate them coming down in price by comparison. That would just be ludicrous. So, Mac, it would be Mac, safe Mac, to Mac, the Mac, next Mac, line of Mac, MacBook Mac, Pro Mac, models Mac, to start at $1,499, £1,449 or $1,199 starting with the lowest power, non-touch 13-inch model and top out around $2,799, £2,799 or $1,499 starting with the lowest power, non the price hike we saw generation of MacBook models into the Touch Bar 1, we would not expect to see major changes in Mac to do new pricing, exciting features to the blow of an increased price, anticipate them coming back. Mac 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 MacBook Pro 2017 prepared for a while, it would be safe to expect the next line of Mac Mac Pro models. MacBook Pro 2017, what we want to see. Beyond these reports, we know little else about what the new MacBook Pro will be capable of. Of course, we've drafted up a brief wish list for Apple's next Pro Bent laptop. MacBook Pro 2017 what we want to see. This is no doubt low-hanging fruit, but being one of the primary complaints lobbed toward Apple for the MacBook Pros of today, we couldn't help ourselves. After all, Apple once prided itself on the longevity of its laptops. And, the firm has quite a lot going for it in this direction. Between rumors of more power-efficient KB Lake processors inside and those of a special power management chip, longer battery life should be in the bag for the new MacBook Pro. Sharper Screens Apple no doubt spurred the obsession with screen resolution in all consumer electronics once it unleashed its retina screen standard years ago with the iPhone 4. But, the rest of the technology world has at last caught up to the firm's screen sharpness. Frankly, in computing, Apple's retina display was surpassed years ago, and it's about time that its standards for retina were updated. Especially for the price, the new MacBook Pros should come sporting 3200x1800 QHD and displays at least and that's at 13.3 inches. Naturally, what we'll see is some incredibly particular resolution that hovers around industry standards but doesn't get too close. Jokes aside, it's time for sharper MacBook Pro screens. More, and more varied, ports. Throwing a glut of Thunderbolt 3 ports, while impressive, at a laptop doesn't solve the user's problem of not having compatible connectors or accessories to use them with. To that end, we need to see either more variety in the ports that the new MacBook Pro offers or for Apple to include more adapters in the box. Professional users need to be bridged between where they are technologically right now and where a creator like Apple envisions them being in the next few years. At the very least, a few more USB-C adapters would go a long way.